for joining us this afternoon. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Megan Reyna. Dan Schaefer is off. Stocks stabilized after markets plunged yesterday over coronavirus fears, but those fears have yet to subside. The global death toll from the virus has topped 4,000. The number of confirmed cases approached 117,000. More than 800 cases have been reported across the U.S. The death toll here is now 29. New Jersey reported its first death today. We have team coverage for you as we learn how the coronavirus is impacting us here in North Alabama. We begin with Way 31 Sydney Martin. She joins us live in Huntsville with new information from the state health department. Sydney. Naja, the Alabama Department of Public Health said it's encouraging everyone to wash their hands and to use hand sanitizer when possible and out in public. Right now, there are no confirmed cases of coronavirus in the state of Alabama, and officials say everyone working together could keep it from spreading if it does come here. Now, in the last two hours, the state's Department of Public Health asked for anyone who is sick to call their doctor first and not to show up at a doctor's office, emergency room, or urgent care. A center if they could possibly have coronavirus. State officials explained if someone does have coronavirus, they don't want others to be exposed to it. Now, they also advised anyone traveling overseas or to areas in the United States that have seen a lo lot of cases to contact their local health department. They also asked if any parents or children go on trips with or without their kids, that they contact their kids' school administration to make them aware that they were in an area where there have been cases of coronavirus. Now, this is so that officials can monitor symptoms at their school. Now, the Alabama Department of Public Health said it will start providing updates every Friday to keep everyone informed about coronavirus and if it makes it here to Alabama. Live in Huntsville, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News.